Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, we are going to cover a very simple concept but very important with respect to data science and machine learning domain and that is called variable importance, okay? So what is that? Let us first try to understand, okay? What is this concept mean, okay? So you consider any regression use case or classification use case generally the pattern is we are having a target variable or basically dependent variable and we are having a set of input features or independent variables and based on the independent variables or input features we basically try to predict the value of the outcome right now among different input features which we are using in our regression or classification use case which variable is dominating which variable is contributing more compared to other variables how to understand that that one i am going to discuss okay and using decision tree it is very simple to understand which variable is contributing more than other variables okay and that is how we are doing the very nature of decision tree reveals that important variables okay so if you just think how decision tree works that is decision tree basically crawl through the data okay in each stage okay it basically attempt to determine how the data can be split into homogeneous buckets okay that is from a particular parent node how or which feature can be chosen using greedy approach or using some more optimized way decision tree try to find that which particular feature can generate two child buckets which are almost homogeneous okay that is for example if that is classification problem statement then in each stage decision tree basically try to catch that particular feature which is creating such child buckets which are having most of the class belonging to one particular same category if there is regression use case then what happens that decision tree at any stage decision tree basically try to split the parent bucket into child bucket such that the mean square error can be minimized okay so at the central idea of the decision tree in a simple word we can say that every time decision tree try to find those kind of input feature using which we can basically split the data in a homogeneous way right that is the central part okay and now you just think the hierarchical architecture okay so those features which will be at the top of the decision tree that means initial stage when the tree is forming that time those variables are creating such buckets which are almost homogeneous okay classification error or regression error or that is mean square error is less right so basically those features which are important always there is a probability that those will be at the upper side of the graph okay that's what the intuition is right so those variables that make it to the top tend to be more important variable when explaining your dependent variable right otherwise what would happen if those variables are not really important at the initial stage itself decision tree might have not chosen those variables for splitting criteria maybe the decision tree could choose some other feature no problem in that right so decision tree is choosing in an intelligent way that variable only which is basically contributing in a better way to decrease the classification error or regression error right that means those variables are contributing more okay so the overall idea is which variable is more important for predicting the outcome how you can understand from decision tree that is intuition is those variables which are at the top of the tree those are contributing more okay right that is the fundamental intuition this is a very popular interview question widely asked frequently asked okay right now let me show you one simple demo okay so i am using matlab you can use your favorite favorite language that can be python or r whatever but anyway concept is going to be same whatever language you are using just library packages might differ okay so just try to feel the concept if you are using some other language just try to feel that and if you are using matlab then obviously it is helpful so clc is basically used to clear the command window clear all is basically used to clear all the earlier used variable from workspace and then here close all is basically we generally write to close all the open figure window and then here warning off okay warning off is basically used to suppress all the unnecessary warnings okay now what we will do we will load the very popular data set which is fisher iris data set right we, that is available in matlab database itself so we will be first importing that okay right so here i will be loading this load fisher iris so first i will execute clc clear all closure warning off in the command window 
and once that is done i'll be loading the fisher id status set okay let's see how the data is loaded we'll be trying to create decision tree on this if we go to workspace here then here we'll see mias is one if we click on that basically this is kind of uh, matrix or table you can say which is containing sepal length sepal with petal length petal width and another one is basically species okay which basically contains the class okay in which row which row is belonging to which class that is cetosa farginica or farcicola that is there okay right so in simple words i can say mias contain all the input features and the species contains the output or target variable okay and this is classification problem you can easily understand now suppose we are asked to get which feature is dominating feature in prediction of the output okay that we need to detect so for that what we will do first we will try to create the model okay model equal to fit c tree right so remembering this syntax also very simple fit c tree for uh, tree based model okay fit r tree for regression model c stands for here classification okay maybe svm if you are using for uh, classification then fit c svm simple right and if you want detailed explanation if you suppose forget something just you need to write help fit c tree that's it okay if you just run here you will be getting the documentation help for the classification tree which is required okay and based on that you can basically create your code no problem okay it might be taking some time right so let's see okay here we got the result so fit c tree table and y where table is basically our input feature y is the response okay that's what we have to give so here our input features are stored in mias and here species okay s p e c i this one i will be double clicking okay so this is done just simple decision tree we are forming okay right then let's execute this kind of query code and yeah it's done okay now to get which variable is dominating as i told you the intuition is basically which features at the upper part of the decision tree they are dominating right now matlab internally compute this and give us some result kind of thing using one function and that is basically predictor predictor importance okay you can easily understand what it means basically predictors are nothing but our input feature which is important that's what we want to understand that's why predictor importance is the function name okay and then you have to pass the model name okay right and then here i can store this in important variable imp which one is important that kind of information it is giving okay right so if i just show you this particular model if i write who's of mdl you will be getting the data type related information for this particular model which is a classification tree and if you want the detailed explanation like for example some properties you want to check if you just write model and hit enter you will be getting some properties related to this model you can click on properties and a bunch of properties you can get like for example if you want to know what are the input features used here basically you will be getting predictor names okay so where is the predictor names just now see predictor names okay so model dot predictor names you can use to extract the predictor names and all these things you can do okay now once we get the values what we can do we can plot a bar graph okay generally this kind of which one is important which one is less important that we display with bar graph okay this is kind of visualization and you can basically copy paste the code which i am going to write for understanding the importance in your project also as it is okay so here i can give the title as predictor importance estimates okay right and then maybe y level x level also y level is basically estimates basically value kind of thing it will be giving using which we can compare uh, for which particular slot the height will be highest that is basically more important we can understand like that okay estimates and here x level of the graph we can give as maybe predictors okay right so let us try to run this particular one and let's see whether we are getting some error or not okay i will close this kind of things right and here figure window comes okay see here we got some error i think 
Y is filling mystic Y level. Okay, right. So here we are getting four input features we basically use to train our model. Out of that, two are dominating and rest two are not. But here at least we should be having the values, right? That is which feature, that is column name we should be getting here, right? So that one I'll be adjusting. So to refer this kind of figure, we can use a h equal to g c a, right? So current axis, okay, that one it will point to, and then here h dot x tick levels, okay, I can use. So x tick level basically we can use to give in the x values to display something, okay, and that one we can give as predictor names, okay. So from here we will be getting predictor names, model dot predictors we can use like I shown you, so we are predicted names, okay, see MATLAB itself is giving suggestions and all, right, so it is very handy actually, and we are basically specifying the predictor names here, right, now let's run this particular one, and let's see whether we are getting the predictor names or not, right, we have not got any error at least, okay, so see x1, x2, x3, x4. So basically sepal length, sepal with petal and petal with class, something like that. So here what we are seeing that last two features x3 and x4 in our data set. Okay. If I show you that is basically Mia's data. Here basically column names are like that only x1, x2, x3, x4. That's why basically no column name is there. That's why it is coming like that. But you can adjust the column name, no problem. If you are using some machine learning use case where the table is having column, then obviously it will be coming that same. Right. So what we are seeing x3 is highly dominating. Okay. Now from the intuition we should feel the idea that x3 should be in the upper part of the decision tree. It might not be always but at least it should be in the upper part. Okay. Maybe one or two three layer below also possible but it should be not in the complete bottom level. It should be at the top level because they are more important variables. Right. So here I can view the graph and then we can conclude. So let's view the model as a decision tree okay so here i'll be giving mode and then here we'll be giving graph okay so here let's run this particular one okay hope we'll not get any error yeah it can see if you consider this particular decision tree see x3 at the top and there is no x1 and x2 in the decision tree, right? For that, that's what we are basically getting the feeling from this particular bar graph also. There is x1 and x2 has no height, okay? Sometime in some particular machine learning, you might be getting negative value for x2. That means they are basically contributing in negative way. Basically, they are not helping, they are deteriorating the quality of the model. That also possible, okay? So this is kind of a common code you can utilize if you are using MATLAB, but I hope you got the intuition that is in the decision tree, in the upper level, whatever splits are happening, they are main contributor or dominating, they are dominating in the decision making, right? So that's why we can simply say that they are more important variables, okay? Right, so this is what about the concept. I hope you understood this. The code I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can go through that. And if you find this video helpful, then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.